my forehead and I are here to do a new type of video and that is comparing two different um, like subscription boxes. So BoxyCharm. One's very large and the other's not. This is the base boxy charm, which is a $25 a month subscription box. And this is the boxy premium box, which is 35. I don't know if that's 35 additional dollars or like an extra 10 or 15 on top of your subscription. I'm not sure. But regardless, it's one step above the base box. And from there is the boxy lux box. I do not have that one. That one is a, a quarterly box, I think. A little bit more expensive. I thought I would just start with these two. So I have been kind of a subscriber of BoxyCharm on and off. On and off. Um, same with Ipsy. BoxyCharm has always been one that I kind of struggled with because I felt like the boxes were never really like what they advertise like on Instagram. Sorry. Um, I never found myself being super wowed by the products, but that was like really before I was in makeup. Maybe my opinions have changed. So I thought I'd give them another shot, and I've resubscribed. So this month I'm gonna be comparing the March um, base box to the, bo the boxy premium box. Basically, is it worth the upgrade? Should you just stick with one? Should you get both or one or the other? I kind of want to see what's worth it. Is it worth it? So I think we're going to start with um, the smallest box first, which is just the base box. They kind of show like sneak peeks on their Instagram, um, but every box has like several variations and I guess we'll see. I'm excited. I'm, I hope I want to fall back in love with BoxyCharm, so please don't let me down with BoxyCharm. Also, just for the record, this video is, of course, not sponsored. <laughs> um, everything I show on my channel is purchased from me. If it's PR or something, I will state in my video. So, um, just for the record, this is not sponsored. This is my own opinions, my own money. So, I'm going to say what I want about, about it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get Drive Out into this box. So, let's go ahead and just pull out the first thing I see here, which is the... Ooh, Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. I love me some rose water. I used to be really into the Mario Badesco um, Rose Water Spray. Um, I haven't bought it in a while because I don't think it does anything, but it smells great. <laughs> so if this is anything like the same scent, which I'm really a huge fan of the scent, I would like this, and I'm always down for a new setting spray. I said that before. I love setting sprays. I use the Urban Decay All Nighter right now. That's probably my go-to, but um, yeah. So this is a setting spray, it's not a primer spray. Oh, I didn't mention that. I'm gonna try on like as much makeup as in here I'm gonna put on me face. Um, so I'll save this for the end. But so far it's a pretty decent size. This is just the setting spray. Very nice, love that. Ooh, and I will be going over all the prices at the end of the video, kind of comparing to see if it's worth it. So this is the card right here. I'm not gonna look at it. I'm just gonna put it over here. I don't wanna see it. Oh, okay, next thing is, ooh. I don't know if this is 111 skin, 111 skin, or ooh skin. <laughs> but um, this I know, because I've gotten several things from this brand in the past. It's very expensive. <laughs> so I'm afraid to see how much this is. I'll be real. I'm subscribed to, a, I mean, just technically two subscription boxes, but I never like okay unless something really like hits home different i don't really repurchase skincare because i feel like lately if you disagree with me on this please feel free to tell me in the comments but i feel like subscription boxes especially like ipsy and boxy charm are very 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 skincare heavy these days i feel like the amount of makeup you get is kind of minimal um that could be just me maybe my preferences are set weird i've tried to go back and change them to be more makeup heavy because i i prefer makeup once i have my skin care routine down i don't really like to change it up that much i mostly just use the ordinary or hey if you guys want to see that as video my skincare routine let me know um i do use quite a few products and quite a few products i've gotten in boxes but like once i have them i kind of just use them until they run out and then i try something new i'm not very loyal when it comes to skincare uh, which is probably why i have these on my face but um anyways Back to what we're talking about. Eleven Skin. So this is a Celestial Back Diamond Contour Gel. Gel contour. Um, I don't know what this is for. Massage a pea-sized amount in a small assortment of motions in onto expression lines, nasolabia folds. What is that? Nasolabial folds? Hold, please. Oh, I see. So basically, the lines, these things. Okay, I'm glad we learn we learn something new every day. Crow's feet, and yeah. So I guess this is like a gel you can do um, 
before or after your makeup. It's in a, it says don't expose to direct sunlight. So I, I find this to believe that it more than likely contains um, like vitamin C. Typically, uh, vitamin C skincare products are typically in this type of packaging um, to prevent, I guess, when sunlight hits them, it somehow taints it. I don't know. Um, so let me see here. Oh, that looks fancy. I don't really know. Oh, oh. Did I just click this down? You know what? I'm getting too ahead of myself. Um, we're gonna try this on at the end. But, so far, this is very, um, different. Try to try that. I love things that make my eye bags look less, um, existing. This is the, um, car lip oil. I don't like lip oils. <laughs> I am not a huge lip oil fan. This looks kind of nice. Uh, it looks pretty big. It's a pretty good size. I've gotten a few lip oils in like makeup boxes before. I, I'm not a fan. I prefer just Carmex. Oh, those are the puppies. I didn't tell you guys, we have puppies now. <laughs> Our English Bulldogs had a whole litter of puppies. Um, so you guys can see them. They're very cute. But they're in, in the corner of the house over there getting fed by mama. So um, if you hear a little squeaks or little cute noises, that's them. Anyways, so this is like a lip oil. Um, I'm not the hugest, bigliest fan of lip oils. I just... What does that smell like? <sighs> oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll try this one because this kind of smells nice. I just, I guess the ones I've gotten in the past are a little too like oily. So where they kind of like in your mouth and I don't like that. Right, next up we have a Luminati cosmetic sponge. Um, Pretty straightforward, just a black um, sponge. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm not mad at it. I always need more um, beauty sponges. Yeah, it just feels um, it feels kind of dense, but I, I'm sure when you uh, moisten it, <laughs> um, it'll be nice. And last thing is this dang girl uh, mascara. I love I love a new mascara. I kind of already have my mascaras that I use, but you know, I love a love a new one. <laughs> um, so this is a Too Faced Dang Girl. I'm not gonna say that. I don't, I don't like to say bad words on camera, so. Um, Dang Girl <laughs> Mascara. It's a very pretty, like, chrome pink tube. Um, let's see the wand here. Uh, let's see what this looks like. Oh. Wow. That looks very similar to the, um, better than intercourse <laughs> uh, mascara from Too Faced as well. That's kind of a very similar uh, brush, if I'm not mistaken. It looks just slightly bigger, but I'm pretty sure that's like the same thing. But why, why do I smell it? I don't know. Um, that's cool. Mascara. All right. So overall, um, makeup items, technically four out of five. The one skincare, the, the gel for your eyes and labial <laughs> Nas nasal folds j uh, jowls. Let's call them what they is. They jowls, okay. Other than that, um, it's a it's a pretty decent box. It's okay. It's not like I'm not like wild by anything. I'm not like super over the moon about any of these things. Um, it's very just like, thank you. like I'm not like whoa. I'm just kind of just whatever about it. But cool. Thank you, Boxy Charm. Uh, so that's the base box. <laughs> I know there's like several variations, like I said, not every box is exactly the same. Um, I'll be honest, I follow BoxyCharm and like Ipsy and all that on Instagram. Um, I have not seen the sponge advertised anywhere, maybe I just have to pay close enough attention. So this looks like maybe, I don't know, this is what I'm saying, sometimes I feel like the things they advertise on their Instagrams, like they'll put items like this in where they will never like show that item, it's just like a random item that you'll get. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I don't know. Anyway, so that was that was the base box. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right over to the premium box, which I have a right chia. So far bigger um, compared to the normal box. So let's go ahead and see what's in this bad boy. Again, cards over here. I'm not gonna look at it. We're gonna do that at the very, very end. Okay, so first off, what I see is a box. <laughs> um, fitting. Uh, this is a what is this? <laughs> I should probably read it first. Illuminating eye serum and primer. Serum and, and shimmer palette. Activated illumination for eyes and body. Cypress. Made for each other. Illumination and active shimmer. Interesting. I've never seen an eyeshadow palette or body palette come with, like, 
activator. <laughs> Why does it look so thick? Um, this looks like yogurt. This is kind of separated. See that? It's like, oh. Ew. This looks like, oh no. <laughs> supposed to shake this? This looks like sour cream water. Maybe I'm supposed to shake it first. Maybe I'm, maybe the clown is me. Oh, I don't think that helped at all. Oh, that does not smell nice. I don't know about that. This looks like, not sour cream, sour cream water separated on top of Greek yogurt. This does not look the best. I'm kind of, kind of disappointed. I'm not really sure if this is gonna affect like the genuine, genuine like outcome and overall use of this product because this looks like it's been sitting somewhere on a shelf for a minute. And now here it is on my desk. So that's the primer I guess you're supposed to use beforehand. And then the palette itself is right here. It's very small, very just um, basic. Let's see what the inside looks like. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that's Shim Shimmers. <laughs> um, it's it's nice. It's very um, one toned to where I think if you had any deeper skin tones, you would not get any use out of like these three shades, just these two. So that's kind of unfortunate because like if someone with a deeper skin tone than mine um, got this, I don't feel like you get as much use out of it. Correct me if I'm wrong, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm, I really don't know how you're supposed to use this. Right off the bat, that's a swatch from the first one. They look pretty. They look like they have good they have good pigment. I'm not really sure if they're like highlights or like eyeshadow. They're a little dusty. <laughs> awesome swatches page. Yeah. Um okay. Yeah, off the bat, I'm not really like sold on it. So I'm gonna kinda look over the, the instructions. With kind eyes and gentle hands. Pat a thin layer of serum in crescent shapes above below and eyelids, smoothing across eyelids. Follow with your favorite Kybris serums and elixirs, moisturizers, and makeup for external use only. I don't know about this one <laughs> because it's saying to put on your eyelids, but I use like concealer and stuff when I prime. Is it this then concealer then the shimmer, or is it if you just want the shimmer? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna move on from this because we're talking way too much about it. But that's the first thing. This next is this Glow Skin Beauty Beta Clarity BHA Drops Salicylic Acid Retinol and Clarifying Serum. So, another skincare. <laughs> Yay! Um, yeah, so this is just. What is with the gross, milky looking. This is the outer pack. Please tell me this is the outer packaging because I'm tired of this weird cream cheese juice looking package. Fly drop directly out of cleansing and toning two to two to seven nights per week or mix with other serums and moisturizers for clarifying boost. Avoid eye area. Good thing I read that because I probably would have put it directly in my eyes. I can't open that. This is like a a teat. Oh I'm making me work for the ow that went under my nail. Ow, that really hurt. So far, I'm not vibing with this box. It hurt me. My face itches. Eh. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, it peeled. Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't like the way that looks. Oh, oh. God, what does that smell like? That smells like very alcoholic. So let me put it on my face. <laughs> that smells like very much, very much so um, like alcoholic eggnog that you left in a grandma's bathroom. I probably didn't use that right. I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. It might be good. It just, I hate when skincare doesn't have a nice smell because if it doesn't have a nice smell, I don't use it. I don't care if it's like, this will, this will heal all your pimples. If it doesn't smell like fresh, um, clean something or whatever if it smells like chemicals or alcohol i'm not going to use it i don't care if it's gonna make me look like i stuck my face in that pool from pirates of the caribbean <laughs> uh, i probably won't use it so that's the next thing let's go ahead and move on here we got four more items it looks like okay so next we have this diva beauty diva london diva eye brush set 
This is a brush set? Oh, wow. It's a brush of wafer thin. Let's go ahead and open this and see what it looks like on the inside. I, I love brushes. I love getting new brushes. I don't think you can ever have too many eye brushes. Okay, oh, well, okay, well, okay, <laughs> um, so our first impressions, these brushes, I'm trying to open them all up here, let me open, let me, let me get a little more, I have to tell you how I feel, so far, we're, I don't feel like we're off to a good start, and this is the more expensive box, and that really makes me sad, I mean, you get four brushes here, um, oh, okay, these are the color of Chester Cheetos. There's one like kind of angled like crease brush here. Um, this looks like I would say a smudger, maybe a packer here and like an angled brush. Ah, uh, right off the bat, these are not brushes that I use in my everyday uh, makeup. I, I use Morphe brushes. That's just what I've always used and had access to and that's the only thing I have to reference to. For my eyes, that's what I prefer. I've tried like some other brushes that I've gotten in previous um, subscription boxes, but I don't know if these are something I can see myself using. I'm definitely gonna try them out, but just the way these are shaped are very strange, and I don't know if I can really see myself using that. So, so yeah, right off the bat, um, I'm not wowed. I'm just gonna put these over here. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. I was really hoping for good things. Okay, what is this? Kiss, kiss, kiss. Liquid lip balm. So liquid lipstick or like a chapstick? Because that makes a difference. Ooh, that's actually kind of pretty. That's a very nice color. That's a very like nice nude. Is it? Oh, whoa. That smells, oh, you know what? That smells like a minty, oh, like kind of like buxom glosses. Like I think they have like a minty smell. This makes, oh, all these smells are making me like taking me back somewhere and I can't pinpoint where. Um, I'm doing a little swatch. This is definitely a liquid like this is a like what is that? Lip gloss. <laughs> Here's a little swatch in my hand here, so you guys can see a little bit. It smells good. It's very minty. I maybe it has like a plumping effect. Zero stickiness, hundred percent shine. Kiss that old lip gloss goodbye. Tell it. This is about plumping. It definitely feels like it would plump because it has that minty smell. Um, I like the color, but I feel like I probably would just wear this like for a video because this is kind of like that formula where I feel like if you're wearing a mask out and about, you can't really wear like this type of stuff. But it's pretty. That's the only thing I've really liked so far. Okay, so next we have House Labs or House Laboratories uh, Rip Lip Liner. Demi Matte Lip Liner. What shade is this? This is in the shade Neat. <laughs> um, this is Lady Gaga's makeup brand, um, which I think is sold on Amazon. If it's sold elsewhere, let me know. But I think it started off Amazon. So this is, let me see. What, oh. So right away, the color that they sent is this very... It's pretty. It's just kind of like um, purpley. It's kind of like a brownie purple. It's actually, I love this color. Does it go with this though? Probably not, maybe. No, it doesn't. Um, but I'll probably try it with it. <laughs> but um, this is really pretty like brownie purple lip liner, which something like this, I could see myself wearing. I love vampy colors like this that are more on the brown side. That's more my speed. So this, the only thing, two things that I've really liked so far are these two. So that's good. <laughs> awesome. And the last thing is this Becca Ultimate 24 Hour Foundation, the shade Bamboo, which right away doesn't sound like it's going to be my shade. So, but let's open it up. The sad thing about Becca, it was kind of funny they included this because Becca is going out of business, I think by September or sometime at the end of this year. They are unfortunately... COVID hit a lot of businesses hard, but Becca just did, couldn't pull through, so they are closing. So a lot of their stuff is kind of um, either going into boxes or going on sale. And it kind of sucks, because what if this is your first time trying this foundation, and like you really liked it? You could never... Oh no. <laughs> so I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> What? Oh no! This is not my shade! This is so not my shade. I wouldn't even- Oh no. Wow. That's really disappointing. So, so far I got three things that I don't like, and two things that I like, and one thing that I literally can't use. <laughs> Premium. Um, yeah. 
This is sad. I can't I can't use this, so I'm not even gonna swatch it because I don't wanna soil it. So I'm gonna put it back in this little package and maybe just store it away. Try to find somebody a friend of mine that is possibly the shade that can use it because I'm literally not gonna get any use out of this. I will never get this dark. <laughs> Or this is tan. Despite my best efforts, I will always be pasty. So I'm gonna save this. That's oh, that's everything. Okay. Oh, 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 oh that is everything. What's this? It's just cardboard. Nope. That just makes the box look like it's fuller. Well, let me just put this over here with the rest of my disappointments. I think I remembered why I canceled my boxy charm. <laughs> Wonderful. So this is this is everything. I'm looking at it. I see a lot of serums that are gross looking and stuff that I won't use. Let me put everything on. We'll go over the prices. I guess I should start first by doing these, this gel in my folds because I have many of those. So you just pump this little thing. Oh, and there's the gel. That was probably $80 worth right there. Um, oh wait, this, hold on. Is this for your other eyes? I should read that. Expression lines. I don't, I don't know. I, got, I don't want to put, you know what? I'll put on my under eyes because my under eyes have, that's where I, have, I need the most help. It smells good. It smells very clean. It's very cooling. Wow, that feels really nice. I have really bad bags. That's my under eyes. It's probably my most problem area. So I'm just gonna start by putting that underneath. So far, that feels that feels good. Don't forget the fold. All right. Well, there's that. Feels nice. Puppies. Cool. Step one's done. Okay. So I went ahead and put on basically my face makeup. I did a very. This, I did this in ten minutes because I'm literally gonna get in the shower when I'm done here. So, uh, I just put on a little powdered foundation, blush bronzer, a little highlight, and then I didn't put any concealer on my eyes, I did my brows, and I didn't do the concealer because it says for that eyeshadow stuff that I'm gonna use, which I'm really not excited about because it looks gross. I'm supposed to prime with this first. It, I don't know if you're supposed to use this before, you can put concealer on top. I don't, I wouldn't think so. It makes it seem like your layer serum shapes above and below the eye. Uh, smoothing across the eyelid and then I guess you put it on top or you don't have to I don't see why they would include this and then you don't use it with the eyeshadow So I'm just gonna try with the eyeshadow. Hopefully it works. I've shaken this up the best I could. It's It's separated. It looks chunky and I'm really not excited about it. We're gonna try this. This looks Oh, this looks gross. There's a little like drop or two. I can't get any in. It's so thick I really can't even like get any product in here. It's like Oh, I'm trying my best here. I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm trying to even swirl it up. Do you guys see that? Well, oh, uh, oh, that's thick. There we go. I'm gonna use one of these brushes to I smooth it on. I don't know. I guess I'll use the, this one because I don't really want to use my fingers. So it's, it's pretty clear. It doesn't have any, it's not like discoloring my eyelid or it just looks like it's just literally just that. It's a serum. I could not see myself using this ever because I don't. I put concealer on top of my eyelids. I could not see eyeshadow functioning very well on, on top of something like this. I feel like it would look very patchy or just not work at all. So I'm kind of cautiously optimistic, but not hopeful, <laughs> if that makes sense. Some of my eyebrows look like not good. I literally just ran a pencil through them with some like tinted gel. That's all, that's all I did, so. All right, so I pretty much got that everywhere. It does feel sticky. Like my eyelids kind of feel like they're sticking to, to each other. It kind of feels a little sticky, which I guess would be a good thing, right? Then I guess you're just supposed to put this on on top of it, so um, I'm gonna go in with this shade Sun Glitter. It's the middle shade right here. Um, I'm gonna take this little, again, this very small packer brush um, and just kind of like run my brush through that and then I guess just put it on. I'm really, uh, I hope this works. We'll kind of see here. I would never just go in with a shimmer like this with no mattes or anything, but it didn't give me any mattes. I mean, you kind of see it? It's pretty. I definitely think the, the serum's a little bit on the gimmicky side. I feel like you don't need the serum. I feel like you're better off, honestly, you'd probably get way better payoff just using like a setting spray, which is what I normally do with shimmers, which I'm probably gonna do with the other eye. I wish I didn't put the serum on this eye. I should have just like did one setting spray, one serum. But this is very 90s, like just frosty lid. <laughs> it's pretty though, it's, oh, I don't know. Do I, and I don't like that, no. That's chunky. Look, I'm not really trying to do a, like, a, I was gonna say red walk of fame, red carpet look. Um, but I will use this setting spray that they included to kind of spray on the brush a little bit. That smells nice. So I sprayed the brush with the product. We'll see how that works. You see that? It's a little bit better. It gives it a more foiled look. Um, like I said, definitely would not just use this on its own. This would be something like a, like an eyeshadow topper, if anything. 
it's very i don't know it's okay man this is not turning out good <laughs> Uh, I am gonna take a little bit just of bronzer. I saw this trick from um, Beauty Christie. She'll just use like bronzer as eyeshadow, and I've been doing that like if I'm going to work and doing like a very light face. It's just a little bronzer in your crease, and that's been like kind of like really nice. I'm using this other brush here and just trying to just to add a little bit more dimension. I don't think it's gonna really do anything, but just so it's not just this frosty eye look. Like I said, it doesn't matter. I'm literally getting in the shower after this, so who cares? Putting a little bit in the crease and just kind of blending it out. The brushes are not my favorite. This is not the type of brush I would ever reach for, but it's whatever. I don't know. They're okay. I don't know if you can really see the fallout. There's quite a bit of glitter on my face. It's, it kind of gives a lot of fallout. I would hope that would just brush away. I'm not 100% sure. Looks like it does. I already put highlighter on, but let me see what it would just look like as a highlight for shizzles. I don't like it. That serum really did nothing. I don't see what that did for my eyes at all. I'm gonna go with this shade Diamond Fire right here. This is like a very, very like white highlight. Kind of putting it over. Wow. Oh, that looks nice. I can't tell if, because I already have highlighter on, if that's the highlighter underneath because I'm using an Ofra highlighter or if that's the highlighter topper. Put way too much on. What have I done? Okay. Um, I'm very, gl I'm more glowing today. <laughs> Let me go ahead and go with the last thing I guess we have is the mascara because I can't use the foundation and I don't want to use this. I'm going to give this to somebody because I don't like lip oils even though it kind of smells nice. Really the only thing I have left to try is, is the mascara and the lip product so let me just curl my eyelashes real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and curled my eyelashes. I do want to say something really quick. Um, as far as the foundation goes, I did go on to like my emails and stuff to just see if maybe BoxyCharm might have sent something or said something about this because when you sign up for BoxyCharm, you do put like skin tone, hair color, all that stuff in there so they can curate your boxes the best they can to what will look best on you, which I can appreciate. However, um, they did send me an email that said that they might have missed like obviously <laughs> sent me not the right shade and they gave me a credit for $12 to use the pop-up shops or whatever. So I have a $12 credit on my box charm account that I can use to buy another product next time I have a sale that they'll send in my next box. So that's nice that they did that, but it does, it is unfortunate because this box is more on the pricey side. Um, and I have a whole product that I can't use. It's just kind of a shame because if I, this was my shade, I would have loved to have tried this, but it's also Maybe it's for the better because Becca is going out of business and if I liked it, I could never get it again. I did want to say that BoxyCharm did kind of write their wrongs. So he did give me a credit. Um, however, I will be doing my best to find somebody who can get the most use out of this or donate it because I don't want it just to sit in my vanity and not get used. So um, so I went ahead and curled my eyelashes. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on this mascara here. I, like I said, I'm kind of like set on my mascaras. I usually just use Essence Lash Princess Drugstore ma uh, mascaras. I don't really buy high-end just because I, you, I don't know, I don't wear enough mascara every day to justify just paying, just paying like $25, $30 on a mascara. So this brush is, it's kind of intimidating. This brush is really big. So let's go ahead and put this on. But I'm finding right now that it's kind of hard to really get the mascara not on your eyelid, like all over the place. Ooh, and you see that? The big old clumpy clump? That's going to get right in my eye. I know that for a fact. So I would say that this formula is a kind of a wetter formula. I can see this, oh no, I mean, I made mistakes. Kind of getting a little clumpy, kind of a little, cause you can't control it. There's no like, this brush is so thick. Like so much product comes off and goes on. Like I can see if you're not careful, this can be like clump city real quick. I'm doing my best to not have that happen. I don't even know if I'm gonna put on a second coat or not. So there's the wash so far without. It looks pretty. Oh no, I give myself like this wing. All right, well, I think I'm just gonna do one coat for now. Um, that is um, one coat of mascara. I have to say, I like the formula so far. It's keeping my lashes curled, which is nice. Um, some mascaras I, I tend to find that after I put it on, they kind of just, they don't hold their curl super well. This one so far, it looks pretty. It is hard to control and to apply. I feel like the brush is just too big and the formula is too wet. I feel like when you're trying to put on your lashes, it just it's kind of getting all over the place. Like it's kind of all over my eyelid. Well, overall, everything at the end. But mascara is okay. I'm probably gonna do like another coat in a second, but um, it's all right so far. I'm gonna skip the 
lip liner uh, for today because I really like this color. I don't want to do it with the wrong combo and then like change my opinion of it because I really like the color, but I'm going to save this for another video. Um, so I'm not going to try that. I'm going to go ahead and just put on a layer of this I guess liquid lip balm. See how this looks. So it's very minty and it's sheer, but it has a really nice color to it. It's very like your lips, but better like nude. I actually really like this color. I guess this is like a tinted lip balm, which is kind of a unique uh, idea in the packaging. It looks like it would just be like like a nude gloss, but it's a lip. I guess you could top it like as a gloss, but it's really pretty. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set everything with the, <laughs> the settings break because you know, I don't want this look going anywhere. <laughs> It's nice. All right, so let's go ahead and do prices and then we'll do a final thoughts at the very end. Um, for, okay, so this is the premium box. No, <laughs> absolutely not. It's saying that this, this cottage cheese primer and this crusty, dusty, ashy, musty eyeshadow palette is $145. No, I'm sorry, no. No, no, no. I would, you couldn't pay me $145 to, to use this. This was not good. This was old. The eyeshadows are very just whatever. It's flaking all over my face. Um, this did nothing. I'm insulted by this. I'm sorry, no boxy charm. No, I don't know who you think you are saying this is $145, this is not $145. Absolutely not. Oh my, I don't even feel like blessed to have this. Like, oh, 145, no. I'm sorry, no. So moving on, I guess. So I'm offended. <laughs> I can't believe that they're saying it's that much. The Glow Skin Beta Clarity Drops are saying is $48. That's a lot. The Ordinary is just as good, if not better. Like I said, I barely put this on. I'll use it when I go to bed tonight, maybe for a week, see how it works. Um, I, I kind of have my skincare products. I like what I like. You could get the ordinary. The ordinary is like eight to twelve bucks. You could easily save your money and do something like that for a very similar result. I'm sure of it. They have a salicylic acid treatment that you can get, and it'd be just as good. I'm positive. <laughs> the Rowan Beauty Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm is thing is twenty six. Pricey. I do like this. However, it's probably my favorite thing out of this whole box is this liquid lipstick or um, lip balm. It does feel really comfortable. It doesn't feel too sticky. It does give a very nice color. Like I said, this is very close to my own lip color, so it, it looks really natural. I really like this. If I was one day when we live in a world where we don't have to wear masks anywhere, um, for an everyday, like, casual makeup day, I could easily see myself using this. So 26 is a lot, but I like this a lot. Um, next is the Beauty Diva Lundy London Eyeshadow Brush Set, which is $48 retail. No. I guess this box is a boxy full of lies because there's no way this these products are worth that much. I refuse to believe that this brush set right here, this Cheeto plastic brush is $48 for, for, for four brushes. I refuse to believe that. Absolutely not. Um, the Becca foundation that we can't use is $44. Sounds about right. Um, High-end foundations, that's usually what they go for. I'm sad I can't even try it. I've never used the Becca foundation. I've only used their highlighters. Um, so I'm really sad I can't even try it. And I don't even want to go get my right shade like Ulta because they're not going to be around one day. So there's really no point. So that sucks. So that's $44. And the House Laboratories Rip Lip Liner is $16, which is a lot. Um, it looks a pretty color, but I don't know. Places like ColourPop, they sell liners that are half the price and the quality is just as good as well. Um, it is a pretty color though, and I'm glad to try it. I'm glad to have it. So that's everything in the premium box. So let me go ahead and add this up real quick and see what our total is. Um, because like I said, the retail box, the box itself, I believe is $35. Uh, dollars. So let's go ahead and see what this freaking $145 eyeshadow palette. That's no way. Do people just make up these prices? So in total, everything is retailing the $327. Um, for this box, which sure is a good deal, but I do not feel like I got uh, $327 worth of product. I don't feel like these products are worth that amount. I feel like that's very, very exaggerated prices. I'm not saying BoxyCharm makes up these prices. I know this is set by the brands. I'm really not, not thrilled by this box. This is really disappointing. I was hoping to really kind of see, like give it another chance and to see how I liked it. But so far I'm just like not vibing this is not good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the, the base box. Um, 
Oh, wow. Uh, off to, again with a very overpriced start. $140. I already knew this was gonna be expensive, but $140 for a gel that I'm going to rub on my folds. No. No. Okay. <laughs> I actually start adding this up. It's a good thing I'm not like over, like so excited about those products because I would never ever spend $140 on this, this, or $145 on this. It would never. You could never. I'm sorry. No. I don't care if you bought that as a gift. I would make you return and be like, keep your money. No. Don't do that. Don't ever spend that much on something like that. That is insane to me. Like, I can't even, I can't even like understand that. The Too Faced Dang Girl Mascara, $26. I sing it. It's nice, it's a nice mascara. Um, the applicator is a little tricky. I do like how it does keep my eyelashes curled, which is kind of tricky to find in a mascara. So I do like this. The brush is just a little bit too big, a little hard to control how much product goes on your eyelashes. Once it's on there, you kind of just have to keep brushing it through until you get it all incorporated. Um, so it's not my favorite applicator, but I so far what I'm seeing, I like it. I'm not the biggest fan of, like I said, the applicator, but it's okay. It's okay. So that's $26 right there for the mascara. And then the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray is $22. That's fair. Um, I think the Morphe one's like $20 or in the same price range. This was nice. It smelled nice. I Like I said, I'm going to go wash this off as soon as I'm done here. So I, I can't contest to the longevity of, of how it makes your makeup last. But, you know, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> um, $22 is a lot less offensive than the latter. Um, the Cab Cosmetics Hydrating Lip Oil is $20, um, which I didn't try again. I'm not a fan of lip oils. I know I'm not going to use it, so I'm not even going to try it. I want to give it to somebody that might get more use out of it than I will. But that's $20. Not bad. Pretty fair. You do get a decent amount of product in that from what I saw. And the Illuminati Cosmetics Makeup Sponge, which I didn't try because I did a powder foundation today. It's a sponge. I can only imagine that it's it's fine too and that is $21 which is a dollar more than a beauty blender which is strange to me because I've never heard of this brand and that's everything in that box so the retail box of the BoxyCharm is $25 and then the overall total was $229 so not bad I definitely leaps and bounds preferred um I think well I don't know I like the boxy I think for the money the base box was was good you do get a lot for your value in that box however the premium box did i get some full-size products yes i also got a product i couldn't use did boxy try make it right yes were these products outrageously overpriced yes i cannot i i'm getting upset i don't want to keep like hyping about the prices but i just sometimes that's the thing I did, i've never really like jive with with boxy charm is that i feel like the products that they include in their boxes are like really like i'm sure every subscription box is kind of guilty of that to an extent but i would never pay that much on my own for something of that quality i don't feel like my makeup looks any better like the eyeshadow is very mediocre i maybe will use it as an eyeshadow topper if i remember but the whole serum thing i can't get over how gross this looks this looks like it's been sitting somewhere for years and like they're just like oh we'll send that in the next box that's fine really disappointed with that so Overall, I would say if you're looking to sign up for a BoxyCharm subscription box, hold on one second. Tofu, say hi to the world. This little man's just crying. This is Tofu, you guys. I just want to say hi because he was crying. So I'm going to hold him now because I'm very stressed out by this video and I need some comfort. So overall, I think that if you're considering signing up for a BoxyCharm box, I would very much consider um, maybe sticking with the base box for now, the premium box. Sure, the value is is there, but it would cost because I couldn't even use one of the biggest items in there. And I, like I said, they made it right. They gave me a credit. Sure, but it's kind of disappointing because sometimes you'll get stuck with products that kind of clutter your makeup space and you really won't use. So thankfully, I do have a lot of friends that um, I do pass on a lot of makeup to. So I'll probably be things that I know I won't um, use uh, in pre next future boxes i will just save and give away i'd rather them get some use somewhere i don't want them to go to waste but overall i'm very kind of i'm still an ipsy fan 100 percent i think ipsy does a better job curating your boxes the selection's better in my opinion and you do get to pick um a lot more of the products with box charm i think you only get to pick like one or two um i didn't pick any of these this time but uh i don't know i'm not super wowed tofu what do you think 
he's not super wild either. But anyways, I hope you guys liked this day's video. I'm sorry if it ended on a more negative note. I really try to be positive. And like I said, I do like some of the things that I tried today. Um, but not all of it, and nor do I feel like it was worth the price that they were saying it was. That's just me. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys liked today's video. Um, something that I want to do more often. And yeah, so if you guys want to don't forget to like and subscribe um hit that bell notifications to get all the notifications for every time i post i'm trying to be better at it i promise um but i'm a little busy with these guys say hi buddy so he's all white by the way with one little black spot on you here yeah so anyway um i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video bye let me cut this out don't show them. Um, I kind of have an idea what's in here. They kind of show like sneak peeks and previews. Um, ready for it. <laughs> now, Timmy, don't show me finagling, dangling around in the. <laughs> here, I don't want to see it. I almost knocked over my beard. And that would be a tragedy. Myself, we're gonna try to sell the end at the end. Wow. I'm getting, I'm getting too much ahead of myself. <laughs> Our lip oil. All right, next up we hear. Next up we hear. Moving along, moving along. Next. Okay, the other way. Um, tennis ball -y, like toys, Toys R Us ball pit, um, Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> you know what I'm anyways, just a sponge. Nothing um revolutionary. seen an eyeshadow palette or body palette come with like activator <laughs> that's that's new oh scared me. i really hope this doesn't affect the the use and like the outcome of what this is gonna look like i don't know i have to read the instructions when i go apply this can you focus hello i mean it's has salicylic sal sal okay sound it out salicylic acid next we're going to go to the next item here which is the buta I haven't even finished this. this is the only thing I've had. Am I just I'm not I'm not okay I'm tired. I just got from work. It's pretty, it's just very shoft shoft. My neighbor can just stop being so inconsiderate, that'd be great. I already knew this was gonna be expensive, but expensive. <laughs> um the two-faced damn girl of oh, no, I knew it. Hey guys, today we're <laughs> I can't do it. You really just want to get in there in the crease and just blend it as best you can. <laughs> Circular windshield wiper motions. <laughs> Thank you, Tofu. You're teaching us something new every day. 